So by now you might have seen some ads of Grammarly popping here and there on YouTube or you are just looking for the review of the Grammarly then you just landed on the right video. In this video we will take a look at the Grammarly and see if it's actually worth it. Assuming you are a teacher, student, employee, worker, boss, who writes assignments, legal letters, proposals, etc. Basically anything in English. Then you will mostly face the problem of not knowing whether the stuff you are writing down is grammatically correct or not. Even myself whose native language is not English, I do face this problem a lot. And this is even critical if you are composing a proposal or a legal letter. So to help us here we need a tool which can correct our grammar, check the plagiarism and make some sense of stuff we are writing. So there are many tools which can do this for us but what mostly people do is just they send this letter to their grammar Nazi friend and they will correct it for them. But let's be honest guys this is not a very reliable solution. Or second thing what people do is just put their precious document onto a random grammar checking website and hope to get it right. But even though those websites all also use the Grammarly Ghost which is basically Grammarly. So the best way to do this which I personally use is by using Grammarly. It corrects your grammatical errors, increases your vocabulary and also built-in plagiarism checker and many more features along with that. Now for this review I would break it down into three things. First is the speed, second is plagiarism and third is the availability. So first of all let's talk about speed of Grammarly. For speed I would like to rate Grammarly 5 star out of 5 stars. I'm saying this because recently I did my final year thesis. Running out of time, vocabulary and confused, is my grammar correct and it's not that I have the time to check grammar mistakes. At that time I knew about Grammarly and signed up for a free trial and used the only free features. I was also still in doubt if I completed my thesis but after that it got plagiarized and that was the time I purchased the Grammarly premium which was $29 a month. Yes it helped me a lot in completing my thesis with 10% plagiarism which was because of review and literature study and I was just typing it on whatever was coming to my head and Grammarly corrected that for me. So that's why I rated the Grammarly a 5 out of 5 star in speed. So the second one is plagiarism. Yes, it's really helpful. It can check plagiarism while you are typing and search for the online content that has similar text in it. Plagiarism is very important if you are doing SEO work because Google always love original content and it will penalize if you copy from someone else's website. So mostly in colleges what teachers use to check the plagiarism is turn it in but Grammarly can only check the plagiarism on the online database which Google has indexed. So I would like to rate Grammarly 4 out of 5 star rating in plagiarism. So the last one is the availability. If you write manuscript or assignment I bet you are using Microsoft Word. Grammarly support all major apps and now it is available on Android and iOS devices. So I would like to rate Grammarly 5 out of 5 star rating in availability. Now finally I will rate Grammarly according to the person that is using it for digital agencies, SEO work, writing legal letters, communication with customers. I would like to rate 5 out of 5 star rating. Now if you are a student I would like to rate Grammarly 4 out of 5 star rating because there are many more software if provided by the college to check the plagiarism and check the grammar. So if you want to take a look at the Grammarly by yourself you can check out the links down below in the description and start your free trial but I highly recommend you should get the premium version as it will save a lot of time. But anyways that was today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did just click the like button below. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and I'll see you guys in the next one.